What's going on guys? My name is Mark Wagner and today I'm going to be making a video on something that I was honestly really really hesitant to make a video about and I'm still a little hesitant but I'm going to be talking about how the coronavirus is affecting dropshipping going forward. Now the reason I was so hesitant to make a video on this is because it seems like everyone and their mother was making videos on it already and they were kind of just using scare tactics in order to get views um, which is kind of messed up in my opinion but I don't really I don't run AdWords or anything so I don't make money um, regardless of who watches this and I also felt that it was actually a really important time to make a video just because I think that we're kind of at the peak of the virus uh, or at least hopefully we are so I kind of at least have a, a little bit better of an understanding of how it's going to affect us moving forward and I think that all the people making videos like a month or two ago were just speculating in order to get views but anyway I think that today's video is a very very important one because this is one of the um, I mean it's an unprecedented time no one's going to deny that but for dropshipping and e-commerce in general this time has been um, it's been insane so we're going to talk about what I think it's going to look like moving forward and what I'm doing to prepare for it so let's go ahead and hop right into the video Number one, are people still going to buy stuff? And the answer with confidence is absolutely freaking lootly. My sales right now are through the roof. I've literally made more the past two months than I did all of 2019 combined. In fact, Shopify is experiencing Black Friday level traffic every single day. That's insane. Now, the real question here is, are we going to be able to keep up with this amount of volume and sales and conversion rates and you know all that good stuff? And my hypothesis is no. I really think that as long as people are home, um, they're gonna be shopping online. That's just what you do when you're bored. But I really think that it's probably going to decrease a little bit in the coming months and continually, gradually declining. Now, I do think that people have a, a chance to get another stimulus check, which would be absolutely incredible. Um, that really helped out my sales, but I really don't know if uh, that's going to produce a long-term benefit. Really, I just see that boosting sales for maybe a month or two. Now, even if the economy were to drop off, I really don't think it's going to be that bad. We're almost unarguably headed for a recession, but that can mean a lot of different things. A recession essentially just means the GDP decreases for two consecutive quarters, which it's almost certainly going to. But now granted I wasn't alive in the last recession, but you know, I've been doing my research, I've been looking at some statistics, and annual income only fell like 1.1%, I think, in the United States. So that really doesn't seem like a big number to me. And consumer spending on entertainment, I believe, fell somewhere around 9% in 08 to 09. So again, that's not really a huge percentile. Now, I do think that worst case scenario, um, you really should be prepared for that. And my kind of game plan, I guess, as far as e-commerce goes, is just avoiding high ticket products and then avoiding like impulse buys and going more for problem solving products where people can really um, buy something and have it make sense for them to spend money that they may want to save or just use somewhere else. I personally think that as an e-commerce store owner, we're really going to see the effects of this when it hits the official recession, I guess, which is going to be like um, the beginning of July. And the reason why I think this is because consumers are just, um, you know, they read the headlines and they act accordingly. They don't really think logically about it, or at least from my perspective. So I think that once everyone sees we're officially in a recession and all this type of stuff, they're gonna stop spending money. It's actually like, it's come out, there's been a lot of statistics in fact that shows consumers are already saving a lot more money. However, I think that that's partially just in due to the fact that they can't go out and spend money at restaurants or malls or anything like that. So it makes sense and they're spending a lot more money online, which is definitely good for us. All right, so now that we've covered if people are actually gonna buy stuff, let's cover if we're actually going to be able to get orders to customers and what shipping is going to look like. Now, as some of you may know, shipping prices have gone way up the past couple of weeks and the past couple of months. Also, shipping speeds have been really, really, really slow since like 
February or something like that when China was getting the coronavirus. So that's definitely not something ideal. And essentially the reason being is because a lot of shipments, especially e-packet and stuff like that, are shipped out on passenger planes from China. That means if you, sh if you fly like Delta, I don't know if Delta goes to, to China, but anyway, there's gonna be like e-packet, like drop shipping products on your plane, which is cool. But now no one's going to China, no one's going out of China. So there's probably very few flights available, which is why shipping prices have gone way, way, way up. Now, we are seeing shipping prices decrease. I believe they're supposed to decrease like Friday, um, which when this, going, when this video is uh, being filmed is like tomorrow. Um, but I'm sure by the time you guys see this, it, it's, it's already decreased. Now, I think that it's just going to continue to decrease in price as far as just like, um, you know, throughout the summer. And hopefully we'll see like normal shipping rates around maybe like mid-June, ideally. But I really, I really can't make any promises there. Um, that's definitely just an educated guess. Now, I think that as shipping prices decrease, shipping speed is also going to decrease just because like i explained earlier the lack of flights is what has caused the prices to go up and it's also what has caused shipping speed to go up now one of the things that i do want to mention is that if you look at other e-commerce stores especially in the united states like amazon for example they were really really delayed a couple weeks ago or like a couple months ago now they're doing just fine and i got this you know, six foot wide beanbag chair in a couple of days. Um, that's really not an issue anymore. So people are gonna be less forgiving of drop shipping stores that still have long shipping times. It was, it was kind of great there when I had faster shipping than Amazon, but we're no longer on that level. So you do need to be aware of that. I think that you should definitely be open about your shipping times. Customers are still gonna be forgiving. They know that the coronavirus is still affecting almost everyone in the world. So. Definitely just be open about your shipping times and they're probably still gonna buy from you. Now, let's talk about CPMs. A decrease in CPMs has been one of the best benefits that drop shippers have enjoyed during this whole crazy time. Now, I think CPMs are probably going to gradually go up through the end of the year, but I don't think that in 2020, they're going to be at the same level that they were during 2019. Just because big companies are still bracing for a recession and for that reason they're cutting back. Which leads me perfectly into my next point. And this is kind of the conclusion to the whole video I guess. I think that the worst mistake that you can make as a dropshipper is cut back. I think that this is the time to double down. We're literally in a golden age of e-commerce when like 90% of people are shopping online. People buying groceries online has never been a normal thing until this time and all the, all the conversion rates, all the traffic, it's just unforeseen, unprecedented. You need to take advantage of it and if you don't, then you're going to regret it. I think that this is the perfect time to stack some cash and kind of prepare for a recession. But I really think that you should just be super aggressive if you're able to. Now, Definitely get your fulfillment right. If you're still fulfilling from AliExpress, what are you doing? Um, if you guys want, I can definitely recommend you my agent, which gets me anywhere from six to 12 day shipping. Um, you know, there's delays and stuff like that. But on a normal, on a normal basis, it's, it's really, really fast shipping. And even with all the coronavirus stuff, I'm definitely not as affected as people that are still going through AliExpress. So even if you don't want to use my agent, I don't really care. Just don't ship from AliExpress and just get your stuff out as quickly as you can. I definitely recommend that you test tons and tons of products and if you're lucky enough to find a winner, scale the ever living hell out of it. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that I was able to help inform you about what's going on and what may be happening in the future. And if anything, I really hope that I was just able to help encourage you to start drop shipping and just go ahead and move forward with it. because. Um, there's really no reason not to in my opinion. Well, there is reasons not to, but there's way more reasons to start drop shipping if you have not already or to just ramp it up if you can't. So thank you again for watching this video. Definitely feel free to hit that big red subscribe button below if you took some value out of this video. We're gonna be dropping knowledge bombs every single week from now on. So if you're interested in that, definitely just hit that subscribe button. You guys have an awesome day and I'll see you in the next one.
Thank <laughs> you.